Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Miami with this lawsuit, my nigga Charlie C. It's all about to do it, bro. My nigga Charlie C. Actually, sir, Young Miami with this lawsuit. She's supposed to be in this club tonight. So you know, I'm about to do it. Young Miami. Yes. Let me get this to you. Oh, it's, a, it's a gift. What is this? What did you just say? From my homeboy Charlie C. You've been served. Wow. 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 Man. Hey, check it, man. Boss Talk 101. You know, uh, uh, this has been, you know, I hadn't did nothing. Hey, man, listen, my people. I've been holding back, chilling, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure uh, when I did speak on something, it, it, it made sense. I've been dealing with this Diddy thing and all of a sudden, young Miami get 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 served, and I'm a, I'm like, okay, do they got her for the Diddy uh, movement? Something she's seen, something she might be pretty much connected to, um, and come to find out, it, it's something with a another situation with uh, this guy named Charlie C. Charlie C. is a uh, evidently has some type of merchandise, and he feel like they've been using it and getting you know, a little bread off of it from the way he's acting, it seems. So, you know, um, I don't know if he's trying to tie it in with the Diddy host. He knows it's a good time to come in hot to try to figure out something, you know, because he's on lock. But, you know, I don't really know the whole deal on it, but I do know that when you locked up, you know, you have a lot of time to write writs and all type of stuff when you lock down. So you got time to think. you like, today I got time because – you're going to try to figure out a way to make sure people feel you, you, you locked up. Uh, this is a, you hear what's going on. Your brand, she wearing it. She wearing the brand she looking good in it. They say she making money with it. You don't know. You can't even hear everything correctly. When you're locked up, you just hear what people saying. And if you even see her in it, you like, nah, she wearing my stuff. I'm going to go at her, you know, and then that's hype. That's political hype in the prison system. So he having a good time on the yard at child time when it's count time, yeah, 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 I'm a sewer. You're going to see. You heard about it. It's everywhere, blue, blue, blue. You think about it. When you look at what he's really, really doing, uh, he's he's really, you know, he he, he wearing her out. He having fun with it, you know. Um, but shout out to his homeboy, man. This dude right here, you got to say he the truth, too, because he, he went in there and served them papers in the middle of her show like that where she was doing a little pool party get-together. I think it's like Makai or something down there in in Houston, Houston gets down, so it, it's going down in Houston. So they like, if we catch you anywhere, to be down in the H town. I was just down there a, a week and a half or so ago. They parties, man. They have a good time, man. Shout out to the H town, man. But yeah, young Miami caught the caught that paperwork. They put that paperwork in her life, and with her being already in the algorithm with P Diddy, it just spiraled it out of control. You know what I mean? And of course, uh, you know, to me, you know, it's perfect timing on his part being a nigga that's locked up. He He's a guy that's on lock, so he's like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna do this. This, this is, this is it for me." So, you know, I trip side off of it, but I got my girl, man. Reality TV, uh, uh, well, yeah, you, you, are you there? Reality TV. You know I'm here. Hey, what's going on? Just watching everything, sitting back watching. What are you, what are you thinking about, like? Like, I know you being a, a female, you know, do you think uh, the, the the big homie was wrong for put, pulling up on her at Makai like that and, and serving her them papers? Or or do you he was, feel... He was super excited. You know, he, he filmed himself beforehand. Yeah, it was weird. I, it was weird to me. Do you think it was real uh, uh, 
clickbaitish viral moment type, you know, situation trying to be, you know. Uh, yeah, I think they just trying to bring attention to whoever, whatever. Because I, I don't even think I've ever seen her in the merch, so I don't. No, no, no. She was in the merch for sure. She, I mean, she worked, but I haven't seen her in it. Oh well, you know, y'all. You know, once you get in it and you're a, a, a big name, it does that. That's one of the things that that people who drive merch uh, up. That's what they do. We try to put it on people, you know, to drive prices up. Now, where the money is going for this merch, that might be a behind the scene thing that he's he's got something going with some people that's just dealing with Young Miami. Somebody's putting that merch on her. She don't have time to think about that merch. I could promise you. Right. She ain't thinking about that merch, but she will put it on for a homeboy. Believe that. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, my thing is because she may not know who it's coming from. It's yeah, she may not. She may not know where it's coming from. But you know, she she seemed like she, you know, she seemed genuine when they when they did it. She seemed annoyed by it. And you seen her tweets. Her tweets was real serious about, hey man, you know, like, come on now, you trying, y'all trying to go viral. I'm gonna I'm make y'all viral. Keep playing with me, you know. She was on that type That's of time. That's how her and JT do. They, they will make you go viral. Yeah, keep playing with me if you don't, if you don't believe me, keep playing with me. She was on that type of time, you know. Keep on, keep on coming for me like that if you want to. You know, but you so, know, black people like to kick you when you down. Remember that's what you remember you said that before. Yeah, but I mean, you know. You know, one thing about it, you know, Fifty Cent, you know, he he been he been killing Diddy and and Young Miami and him. They all been going back and forth, so it's perfect he timing. He didn't apologize for her. He went back and made another post with her. Who uh, Fifty you know, did? He did. Well, you know, like I said, Fifty Fifty a savage. He ain't really. You could get it. Fifty don't play. I can't lie. I'm a big Fifty fan, but. At the end of the day, him and Diddy been they, he been doing that to Diddy the whole time. It just seemed it seemed harsher now because uh, Fifty is uh, basically doing it, and he's in the middle of all this uh, all this stuff that's going on. But he been this is typical Fifty. Yeah, he was already he wasn't a, he wasn't a Diddy fan at all before, you know. So yeah, when I see uh, Fifty doing what he's doing, it, it doesn't surprise me at all. You know what I mean? Right. So do you think right Fifty now. wrong for doing what he's doing? So I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in there. I don't do, have that much money to be like, is he wrong? Well, do you what about what about you think a lot of people saying that uh uh after everything spiral off for uh my boy uh uh, uh P Diddy they coming for Jay Z. Do you believe that? Oh yeah, I, I believe it. I believe it's gonna be a lot of people that um uh, they come from this situation. A lot of things gonna be exposed because a lot of people been thrown under the bus, and a lot of stuff have been said. A lot of names, and yeah, a lot of yeah. Stevie J been you know posting, trying to defend him, and showing people at the party. So I don't know what's to come. Do you I'm think? Do, do you think Young Miami being slapped with these papers? You know, you think that even phased her? These court documents. The papers. Yeah, the court papers when he come in and did a. How you think? She got bigger stuff to be worried about than that. that I, it's bigger stuff coming at her than that. I promise you. Yeah. That's the least of her words. Oh, so you saying she going? You think they gonna have to try to bring her into this P Diddy stuff eventually? I think that's that's we're not even gonna worry about that. Oh, I don't you? Think they gonna, we, yeah, we gonna forget about that. I think that was. Just well, I don't know if you can forget about it, baby. I mean, she's all the way in it too. Oh, the P Diddy stuff. Yeah. I'm not. No. Oh. We don't know what's going to happen with it, but we just... The little, them serving the papers and stuff like that, I think that's going to fade away. But the P. Diddy stuff, I don't know. I'm just waiting, because I don't know. Because I love to see the girls in Miami and JT, so I'm just sitting back watching. No, I am too, man. Uh, So... I wish everybody the best. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, man, I, I I definitely do as well. You know, it looked like they be partying in Houston, though. It seemed like I'm I, when I was researching this, it's like the party scene is crazy. And when you go out to the it restaurants, Houston, but it, it, apparently it's no party like Diddy party. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you're right, Diddy party. She probably that was that was lightweight light work for her right there. Yeah, that's nothing. Right that's there. nothing. That's that's right there. If she's a Diddy, she be at them Diddy parties. That's light work right there. I can't say this. I ain't gonna lie. I probably would have been at the party. I'm 
mean, people sit up here acting like they get it. I probably would have been there to get it, Barney. Oh yeah, well, I mean, you fit the profile, you know. That's the kind of stuff. I, I bet, <laughs> I bet you would have been. You know, I bet you would have been at the Diddy party. Uh, reality TV, you know. I don't know if anybody else out there throwing anything remotely close to them Diddy parties. Reality TV is looking to jump right in. Uh, she she says she want to go to the. To, uh, if anybody got a party like a P Diddy party, uh, my co-host, my homegirl. <laughs> Reality TV is looking for a party like a P Diddy party, is what she just the said. Party, y'all. The one I don't know which party, but I do know I do know that she want to go to them Diddy parties. And if she want to go, y'all y'all get in these comments and and try to help her to find out. If y'all got a party that's something like a Diddy party, I never been to a Diddy party, but whoever have, Reality TV is on here saying she would love to attend something like a Diddy party. And, and uh, if you smart, you will make everybody sign it. Oh, and and you are are you willing to sign an NDA? That's a question. I've done it before. <laughs> okay, so use an NDA signing type broad. Okay, I feel you. I, I I feel you all the way. Um, yeah, yeah, you out there with them celebs, you know? Shout out to reality TV who keep it spicy. <laughs> she can't come in. She keeps she been she, her, her, she, they put a muzzle on her mouth. But at any rate, man, make allegedly okay. You go on there. I don't know, but at the end of the day. Guys, did young MA young did, did young Miami did she take yeah, a did, right. yeah did she take a did she take a, a, a L on this one? Uh, is this something that she should even be thinking about at the time when she dealing with way bigger issues with the P Diddy issues? Get in the comments and let me know. Was Charlie C wrong for coming at her during this time? Uh, or is he trying to get his money for they get her? I don't know. You guys got to get in there and tell me. And what, the homeboy, I don't know his name, but. The little dog, he was so happy, man. When he was, so, he was, he was happy to serve them papers, man. That's the kind of that's that's the kind of catch you need on your team. When you locked up, you got a nigga out here pumping and jumping and walking these streets and looking. You know, he a real stump down homeboy. He is really looking for the smoke for his homeboy, uh, young Miami. He tell, he said, hey, here, yeah, here you go, this something for you. Boom, he slid it to a real nice. Next thing you know, she tripping. What is this? Oh, you've been served. Oh, he got real aggressive at the end. Came to the club the day of, before they even got there, came to the spot, scoped it out, looked at how he was going to walk in that thing, stood by the, it was a barbecue pit right there, walked around the barbecue pit, into the, he already had scoped it that day. That was, he pre-staged it before it happened and did it live on it. Was he cloud chasing? Check it, man. Boss talk one on one, man. Shout out to Young Miami and all this, all this stuff she got going on. Get in the comments, I like, subscribe. Good. Make sure you guys become members of the channel. Boss talk one on one. We going in one more again. Uh, yeah, it's going down. Appreciate all the love too, man. And all the people that keep on subscribing and keep on following Boss Talk One Hundred One, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.